I'm sure you guys have seen this viral video by now. This man who was a social media influencer, a red pillar, um, having his words parroted from young boys. He is literally shocked that his words are coming from these young boys. His face was, this was his face, but his influence is obvious. And these red pillars, these manosphere people, their talking points will really, will really damage these young boys because the gulf that is coming, the divide that is coming between what girls are doing in school and how boys are feeling about these girls is apparent. You can see it. It is palpable. Not too long ago, there was another video with boys from the UK and they were being interviewed on the street and they were talking about um, girls, talking about, you know, basically using misogynistic talking points as well. And I created video, a video on that on my YouTube page. But where we're seeing, we're seeing girls move towards, you know, focusing on their education, being assertive, speaking on what they want, taking opportunities. And then you see the young men using explicit language where it comes to women and girls. This is, this is not going to bode well for boys and men coming forward, going forward, I mean, because women and girls are becoming more, are becoming more self-sufficient and we can survive and thrive without them. But they are pushing women and girls away. And it is, it's this rhetoric. I was tagged on Reddit on this thread and it's talking about the young boys being targeted and radicalized. And what I just cannot understand is these men not understanding the repercussions of their actions. Um, this social media influencer who I will not name because I heard that they start coming for you. Um, he's talking about what have I done? Seriously, you've trained young boys into not respecting women Um Apparently, this guy's name is blank, is listed, and he's on the same scale as um, the tater tot because he knowingly pushed red pill content into impressionable children. That is what they're doing. They're not, it's not just simply rhetoric that's going to other men. It's going, it's going down, it's coming down to the children as well. And they're embodying it and their brains are not fully formed. The males whose brain is fully formed is still basically not taking it well and still acting out like these boys. But these boys, their brains simply are not fully functional. They cannot handle. It. We're going to have to continue to have these conversations because what is going on? Did you guys see the video of what happened with the young girl in UK who was unalived because a boy was carrying a weapon and flowers to try to get back with his ex-girlfriend? Y'all don't think that this is going to continue to happen. You should be aware. So the parents of daughters, parents, I mean, just people who want safety for women and girls need to be paying attention that, to what is going on in the public discourse and conversations. This woman says, not shocked as a teacher. And quite frankly, I don't feel sorry for the boys either. I feel sorry for the girls. You should be worried for girls. Um, this person says, makes me glad my little girl cousins go to all girl schools, but I weep for the other girls and teachers who have to deal with this. And this next person says, I would 100% send my daughter to an all girl school if I were to ever have children. I think there needs to be more and I'd love to see that funded more because it's not just safety and level of comfort, it's education. And it is absolutely education because girls are going to school to actually focus on school, whereas the boys, I'm not so sure. And this has been happening and this has been um, talked about for decades now. So something really needs to be done as far as education in boys, but the girls' education does not deserve to suffer because the boys are not being reined in. This is just a conversation starter. I'm not going to prolong this conversation, but something needs to happen and it needs to happen quickly or it's just going to continue. The divide that is happening is going to widen. Y'all jump in the conversation, like, comment, share.